Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction of three digit numbers and hundreds. So 100, 200, 300, all the way to 900. We're going to do this using the vertical format. So let's have a look at our first example. What is 348 minus 200? 348 minus 200. Now the first stage is to rewrite this question in the vertical format. So let's do that over here. 300 and 48 minus 200. And let's label the columns as well. The right one is the units column, the one next to it is the tens column, and the first one is the hundreds column. So the first stage is done. We have successfully rewritten the question from the horizontal format into the vertical format. We are now ready to go ahead and do the calculation. Don't forget, we are minusing. And we always start with a column on the right-hand side first. So let's do this. What is 8 minus 0? 8 minus 0. That's right, the answer is 8. Now we do the tens. What is 4 minus 0? That's right, the answer is 4. And lastly, we're going to do the hundreds column. What is 3 minus 2? 3 minus 2. That's right, the answer is 1. And we have our answer. 348 minus 200 is 148. That is correct. We get a nice big tick. Let's work through one more example using slightly higher numbers. What is 857 minus 500? 857 minus 500. Now the first stage is to rewrite this question in the vertical format. So let's do that over here. 857 minus 500. And let's label the columns. We've got units on the right hand side, tens and hundreds. So now that we have rewritten the question, we are ready to go ahead and do the calculation. Remember, we are minusing. So let's start with the column on the right hand side, the units column. What is 7 minus 0? That's right, the answer is 7. Now the tens column. What is 5 minus 0? That's right, the answer is 5. Now we're doing the hundreds column. What is 8 minus 5? 8 minus 5? That's right, the answer is 3. And we have our answer. 857 minus 500 is 357. That is correct. And that is how we do subtraction of three-digit numbers and hundreds using the vertical format.